on it. For a fun band lover like myself and probably you out there, nothing hits home run just hearing the word con it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Amy from Pan Venture. You are in for another Fun Pan review. This time we are going into my personal Fun Pan collection in order to review the Con it King Size Bulk Filler. Con it is something that you don't hear too often these days, and uh, it became so rare for all the obvious reasons. And uh, another thing that we are going to discuss in this video review. This fountain pen recently showed up into my personal fountain pen collection as part of a trade. I'm not going to bother you with that story, but I'm gonna link the video up here if you want to watch. In this video, we are going to focus on reviewing this interesting writing instrument. In true pen venture style, I'm gonna start with some information regarding the company. Then I'm gonna show you some details regarding the fountain pen, the customer experience. We will have a side-by-side -side size comparison writing sample with this gorgeous size 8 gold nib. In the end, I'm going to share some of my personal opinions and findings after getting to use it for the past weeks. The company, Conid, established in 2008 in Antwerp, Belgium, and they are specialized in designing super interesting fountain pens. And not only that, medical equipments, I think so as well, due to the fact that Recently, with the medical crisis, they went into creating medical equipment, decided to postpone their production of writing instruments in order to catch up with orders that were pending. Anyway, we don't have any news. And if you're watching this right now and you are part of Conid and you have some news for us, for the community, when we will have the ability to order Conid fountain pens from the website, please comment down below and let us all know. I'm gonna show you the customer experience first because you don't get too much things with this fountain pen. Everything is concentrated into this small little metal box and it's funny but it looks like an ammo box. It's very tacky and it gives you the feeling of what you can expect to find inside. Let's open up the lid right here. Connet bulk filler, the certificate of authenticity. We have the user guide with instructions regarding how you can fill up your fountain pen with ink, how you can clean it. Here we have some information regarding the size eight gold nib that was initially on my fountain pen. It was a fine and this is very nice because along with your Conid, you can actually go for grinds and specific things regarding the nib, which are not that available with other companies at this very moment. We have some O-rings and I'm not that sure where they go along, but I will check later. We have the fountain pen right here and we have here the disassembly key or tool in order to take your fountain pen apart and also I have here another tool which I don't know where it's going and let me put everything aside and let's concentrate on the fountain pen because with yeah sorry I have to be honest I do appreciate a lot of things regarding Conant fountain pens the way that they are built their designs the use of materials which materials and the overall look of the fountain pen when it's done it's impressive also they very nice and interesting filling system. Right now the fountain pen is inked and you can clearly see the ink slushing around in the barrel. In a few moments, I'm gonna show you how we are going to uh, clean the fountain pen and re-ink it with the same ink. On the Conant website, you will find featured their models. First of all, the entry level, we have Slimline, Minimalistica, Regular, we have the King Size, and in the end, we have the Giraffe. The king size is the flagship model. You can have it in both flat ends and also rounded ends. This one is flat and this is the one that I personally wanted it for myself. We have flat ends, then we have the finial right here. On the finial we have the Conid logo with white and black interconnected. The finial is made out of titanium, just like the entire trims of the fountain pen, which give out a very tacky and beautiful look to the overall design of the fountain pen. This makes it to be very, very durable. Uh, you know, titanium is a very, very strong metal, which doesn't corrode, doesn't have the patina over time. So this fountain pen, I haven't cleaned it off for this review or anything like this. And you can clearly see that the metal parts look like the first day that they were introduced on this fountain pen. Moving further, we have this clip, which has this very, very simple look to it. It's very practical and I believe it's quite strong 
being that it's made out of titanium. Although the front fan looks to be bulky and weighty, it is not. This part of the cap, which is made in clear acrylic, the, the level of detail is impressive. You can see through it, there isn't any distortions and it looks very, very high quality. Moving further, we have the cap band. Looking down from the clip, we have fountain bell. Right here, we have Conned bulk filler. A lot of words, let me explain. Bulk filler, it's the name of the filling system which is patented by Fountain Bell. Conned is the name of the company. The filling system, I'm gonna show you in a few moments. It's very, very ingenious and probably it is in the top three of the fountain pen filling systems which offer the most amount of ink and they are just mesmerizing to watch how they are working. It's a screw cap. The Conned King size comes equipped with this impressive size 8 Peter Bock gold nib. Of course, you may ask why this nib is stamped by Bock and it's left like this. This is the old style of a nib for a Conned. Later, they transitioned into offering size 8 gold nibs, which were laser engraved with the Conned logo. Bock size 8 gold nibs are splendid. This is an 18 karat gold and I do have uh, something very nice from Leonardo of China Italiana, which is size 8, the same shape, but in 14 karat gold. And I checked and it fits on the same uh, feeder, so I cannot wait to have that nib installed in this one and to try it out. It is powered by a ABS feeder, and the ABS feeder is very nice. It's streamlined, it copies the nib. This is something in red ebonite, and you can clearly see that this is quite beefy in comparison to this one. We don't have any size for the nib engraved, but I can tell you this is a broad nib which was ground into a stub, and I'm gonna show you how beautiful that's writing. Ergonomics, we have this very nice titanium uh, section, which is shaped like an hourglass, but very, very faintly and minute in the middle. It's a little bit thinner, but in all other aspects, it looks like it's straight. Right here, we have the treads for the capping system. Those are not sharp at all. They are super polished, very nice. There is no step up and the barrel starts with this very beautiful clear acrylic material, which is polished inside and out to perfection. And I do love the look and the, the, the weight of this acrylic material because they look to be very high quality. And there is something regarding demonstrator fountain pens which just simply makes me giggle. I do love to see the ink slushing around in the barrel and knowing that that ink right there cannot escape and uh, you don't get your fingers messy, but you can clearly see it inside the barrel moving. The, the barrel is made out in these two parts. We have right here sort of the ink window, and then we have this chamber right here which holds the ink. The thickest point of the barrel is right here, then it starts to thin in on this titanium and knob, we can find Belgium, which is the country where Conned is based. Conned engraved right here. The filling system, which is the star in this fountain pen. I'm gonna show you how it's working and I'm gonna show you backwards because we are going to expel the ink from the fountain pen and then we are going to draw fresh ink inside, getting the fountain pen ready for the writing sample. It's a very, very simple system. You would unscrew this. Now we need to catch this part right here, which is the piston. You would go like this. You would screw counterclockwise. When we have this rod connected to the piston, now we can actually use the filling system. And I'm gonna demonstrate that by pushing down the piston with the rod. And this is how the ink is going to be expelled from the fountain pen. Like with any other pistons, draw ink inside the fountain pen. And now let me show you where the bulk filler is going to shine. Let's just say you want to disengage the piston. You would turn the rod like this until it's no longer connected. Of course, you can do that over the ink well because you will have a few droplets of ink. Now you have the entire barrel of ink and the piston being stationary right here near the end the knob. This is the brilliant part which allows Conned Fountain Pen to use the entire barrel to be filled up with ink. This right here, the small little ink window, if you are familiar with the uh, Visconti a uh, double reservoir power filler that can be very, very helpful if you are flying in with the fountain pen. You would drain that 
part and now you have the entire ink behind the piston. Let's wipe the fountain pen clean off and let's see how it looks side by side other fountain pens. Here we have the Conrad King size cap next to Monte Grappa 1930 Extra, AC Bologna Extra, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Nuda, Visconti Opera Master, Crimson Tide and Scribo Feel. Now let's have a look uncapped. Same lineup, the Fauna Vans uncapped. You can clearly see that the Conant King size, it's very close to a Momento Zero Grande from Leonardo. It sits a little bit taller than the 1930 Extra. And of course, the ASC Bologna Extra is like a centimeter longer in regards of the height. Kept like this, the Connect King size measures 142 millimeters. I'm kept in writing position, it measures 135 millimeters. Posted, I don't recommend you to pose this fountain pen, but it's going to measure 168 millimeters. And the total weight of the fountain pen kept and posted in writing position like so, it's 41 grams. Uncapped like so is 31 grams with ink in both cases. I'm going to let some ink inside that small little chamber by untwisting the end knob and uh, I'm gonna put it like so. And now let's have a go. And we have the pen conned king size bulk filler and we have the nib 18 carat 750 size 8 broad ground into a stub the ink Mont Blanc, homage to Napoleon. Paper, as always, Tomo River paper, 52 GSM. Amazing. It's a pass, quite wet nib, and uh, I had something to do with that made it a little bit more wet because it's going to feel a lot more smoother. Who doesn't want to see uh, ink pooling around on the paper as it's drying to show its true colors and it's awesome. I love wet nibs. We have normal figure of eights and uh, knowing that this is ground from a broad into a stub, you will have natural line variation. Now flex. Not that you would intend to flex this nib, but if you apply some pressure, those two tines come apart and we have an increase in ink flow making of this nib to offer maybe a double broad in uh, all other aspects. Again, I don't advise you to push these nibs because they are quite tricky and stiffy. Now uh, let's go ahead and use the famous sentence. Let's see how this nib is performing. And uh, I'm gonna use my flamboyant way of writing in order to see how this nib um, is performing, if it had some uh, um, sweet spots or maybe if it's going to catch the paper. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The stub is very, very cursive and it's very gentle. We don't have any skippings. We don't have any hard stars. The feed is keeping up with this nib and you can endlessly ride with this nib and still have the same feeling like the first time that you put it on the paper at the first strokes. It is wet, juicy. It is a pleasure to work with this nib. Very, very hard to stop writing with this fountain pen ever since I've got it. I've changed a number of inks, observing how it's performing, if it's wetter with some inks, if it's not, if it's much more easy to clean with some of them. And we will discuss all of this and also uh, the nib in my personal opinions. First of all, I like this fountain pen a lot. This is on my to get list of 2022 fountain pens and finally I nailed it and it's here, it's home. I would have loved to get it from uh, Conned and to actually go forward with the nib uh, with my personal, um, let's say, 
specs, I don't know, maybe I would have gone for a fine course of Italic or something else, maybe a titanium size 8. Uh, these fountain pens are quite pricey lately and uh, the, the pricing, it, it, it's extreme to the point that it's no longer viable to have one from the secondary market because it costs so much. If you want to pay that amount, doesn't matter how much to get it, you will find it. You won't find it at the pricing it was available from the company, which I believe was close to a thousand euros plus or minus in that region with that and all of that. And uh, with the gold nib, with the size eight gold nib, and uh, it is not, it, I believe it's three or four times that amount right now on the secondary market. It's a remarkable writing instrument. It looks very tacky. I would put it to be like, for example, the ultimate Lamy fountain pen, the, the sort of technological, mechanical, um, geeky uh, build for a fountain pen, which is very durable, very beefy. Uh, the looks, the quality materials, titanium, the, the, the clear acrylic is done very good, it's polished inside and out to perfection. The filling system, it's a charm, it, it, it's something unbelievable. This is the first time that I was introduced to this filling system. I've heard about it, I've seen it in some different videos and I think it's splendid. It works very nice. Uh, with the help of the tool, you can completely disassemble the fountain pen, you can uh, take the nib out, it's friction fit, you can uh, take the housing out, you can clean the fountain pen, you can take the piston assembly out, you can exchange all of the, the O-rings, you can uh, grease the fountain pen. All of the fountain pen manufacturers don't recommend you out there to disassemble the fountain pen at home. In the case of the Conned, it's the other way around. Actually, Conned is a very nice fountain pen which you can take off and disassemble at home uh, you would find tools, you would find O-rings, spare O-rings for you to exchange if something goes wrong. And I do appreciate that coming from a manufacturer which is going to entrust you with their design, which is built very well for you at home to disassemble it, to clean it and to maintain it in top condition. Uh, the Conned as a fountain pen, the king size, it's a great platform fountain pen because I've seen it with slightly modified uh, housings for the nibs and I've seen it with Sailor King of Pan nibs, with Visconti, uh, Dream Touch, Palladium nibs. I cannot wait to explore uh, the huge array of options and I'm gonna customize the nib and I'm gonna put the Leonardo size 8 gold nib on this one or maybe the old win uh, size 8 gold nib. There is endless possibilities for you out there to put your favorite nib and to have it riding from a Conned. Everything works well and I've used this fountain pen for the past few weeks with some minor problems regarding it. I don't know if this is maybe with all Conneds or only mine, that small little chamber. Uh, I had different inks in the fountain pen, different colors of ink. All of them left that brown dust collected there. I don't know why, maybe this is due to the ebonite feeder because that's the only viable option in my opinion. If you have more information regarding that fact, let me know because I want to know how to fix that because every single time that I ink this fountain pen and I leave it with ink for let's say a few days, three or four plus, I found that brown stuff in there in that small little chamber. The nib, the size 8 gold nib, it's working very nice. Although the fountain pen is oversized and bulky, it doesn't feel like that. It's an oversized fountain pen, but still it's very practical. Titanium is light and very, very durable and strong. And that gives out the, the, the feeling of quality, also with a much more manageable weight for the king size. I look forward at maybe in the future having the Conned back in business and to order myself maybe a um, round ends king size, uh, which I do appreciate and love as well. Uh, and uh, I believe this is a great start and this is a fountain pen which only opened my appetite to more Conned fountain pens. Of course, I don't like the pricing because now it's three or four times even more so than what's uh, available from the company back in the days when they were manufacturing. But again, 
it is what it is. We don't know when they will be back, even more so if they will be back at one point or not. Probably if they will not come back into business, this fountain pens will twice X, three times X from that. This can be the next LB5 if the company is not going to produce any more of this fountain pen. But in all other aspects, let's pray that they will be back to business. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. I hope you enjoyed my content king size. Thank you for uh, staying so long with me on this video, uh, enjoying this beautiful writing instrument. Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. If you're looking for an next writing instrument, don't forget to scroll down a little bit. You'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, my phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with us. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to my other videos. And also, if you want to support the Pen Venture YouTube channel to grow it into a community, click there, turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. Speaking about content, if you want to continue watching my videos, I'm going to leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.